What's up guys? Today we're going to install a rough country, rough country lift on my girlfriend's Subaru Crosstrek XB. Uh, it's a 2015. It's got some pretty nice tires. I uh, just installed There's them. Some, uh, Falcon uh, Nomad Grapplers uh, in, where's the size? 235, 55, R17. So a little bit bigger than stock. Um, not huge, but a little bit bigger than stock, so they nicely fill up the gap. They don't rub, but we do just want some height on the vehicle. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and install the lift real quick, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. First step, obviously get it up in the air, and then take the wheels off. I already loosened up the water on the ground because I don't have a gun with me. So, screw pretty easily and she's off. Hardware for the uh, since it's going to be two inches longer, you're going to need new longer bolts. This looks like it is one of the front lifts or front front suspension lift And this is all the rear. Sway bars and the subframe. Might be wrong. Mosquito. This is the rear lift. How do you know what is front and what is rear? Um, the rears only have two bolts yeah. <clears throat> in the rear suspension, and the front for the. So these are top hot hat spacers. So these will go in between the strut and the body, basically giving you two inches more. And so the rears only have two bolts and the fronts have three bolts. And then um, these are the spacers. These pucks go on each corner of the subframe for the rear. And then I believe these go on the sway bar, correct me if I'm wrong on that one. Um, so yeah. Basically, we got these uh, front side up on the rear side. But basically, what you're going to do is remove uh, the, I believe this is a wheel speed sensor, remove these two bolts. I went ahead and marked where this is a camber bolt. So I marked that so I can get it as close to there as I can in the future. Uh, we're gonna remove this, um, this. That is your brake line, remove that bolt. Remove these two bolts, remove the sway bar. I would remove the lower ones first and then remove them. So 
where is the space of going? Bada bing, bada boom. The front strut is out. Boom, right there. You can see my hand. Oh my gosh. Ah! And so we're about ready to uh, put the new spacer. All right, basically what we're doing right now is putting the spacer on the strut uh, using the hardware that came that the car came with. So um, just putting those, tightening those down with my hand, and I'll go ahead and the wrench and tighten them down. Um, and it comes with three lock washers, or lock nuts, excuse me. And these are going to go um, up top, uh, up top there, to the spacer. So, this is kind of how it should look. There's going to be a notch, and that notch should be facing you when the strut goes back into the vehicle. So, we're going to go ahead and tighten these up. Uh, we got it bolted to the new strut. Um, what we're going to do is put this back in with the notch right there facing upwards towards us. Um, and here we go. Two bolts right there. And then These ones? you get those uh, 17 newton meters tight. Um, you go ahead and uh, start working on the bottom. So this is nice and in. Don't worry if it spins, it's meant to. Uh, basically what I did, uh, let me show you. Basically what I did instead of lowering this because um, the joint just kept spinning. Way bar mount to the to the frame. So uh, if you're having trouble, yeah, I took that plastic back and it mounts just right here. And so if you're having trouble with getting this bolt out, I would just recommend taking that out. And it got lower enough for me to get it in. And so yeah, let's go ahead and put these two top butt bolts in. get a wrench. Well, what I'm going to do is get a wrench and hold on that end while I tighten this end down. Brake line. Back on.
just make sure that uh, oops, stop on your camber bolts lined up. That's exactly where I marked it. So we should be at factory camber. I'm gonna go ahead put that sway bar um, back up and uh, put this wheel on and lower it down. Oh my god, it's so much heavier than I thought. <laughs> oh, I love peanuts. Hey, baby. Hello. Are you so happy? Are you so happy? Breaker bar. Alright, so um, we got the new one in. Let's go ahead and tip these three bolts off. Um, took these ones off. Put the new spacer on with 
you you have to tighten these. I think I showed it. Tighten these onto the new one, um, and then we got the top hat back in, loose it loosely, put those bolts on, and then uh, put this shock on the the shock bolt in, and then use the jack to kind of get these other two bolts in. All right, so we're under the car. Um, I basically installed everything. Uh, so these are the little shorter spacers with the eyelets closer to each other. These are the bigger ones with the eyelets further away. Basically, you have to take this bar off um, and then install those and then loosen these and get all four pucks in. And it comes with new uh, hardware as well. I was missing um, my hardware so basically I took whatever the old size one was and uh, got uh, some new one from a the local hardware store that are just a little bit longer you know so uh, that worked out for me pretty well um, so if you are missing those bolts just go and buy us up there it was like three bucks so um, yeah Overall, everything looks good. We're going to go ahead and lower the vehicle on the wheels and see what it looks like. that's not being as protected. Again, we are gonna try and uh, look into some metal sheets that we can put up here to protect it a little bit more. Um, but for now, this will do. 